All right. Uh, today I want to show us how you can open a business PayPal account. Yeah, how you can open a business PayPal account in Nigeria. We have a challenge uh, because most Nigeria accounts, most uh, Nigerians are having issues uh, with PayPal accounts, whereby you create a PayPal account and the account can only make payments without receiving money. So uh, people are having problem. Um, Regarding that, so in this video today, I want to show us how you can open a business PayPal account that can receive money and at the same time make payment. Okay. Uh, in case you are coming across my channel for the first time, please see the subscription button and also don't forget to click on the notification button. That is the bell icon so you can always get the notification each time we drop our video. All right. So this is PayPal.com. Once you open your browser, okay. Let me show you. Once you open your browser. It will bring you to once you open your browser and type paypal.com it will bring you to this page that is opening now this is the page opening now all right now if you check something there's something you're going to see on the address bar here you see paypal.com slash ng slash web apps now nigeria do not have the option of business you can see it's only personal account nigerians can only create now, what do you do? You come back here, you edit this browser, check, look at what I'm doing very well. You click here, edit this ng, remove this ng, and replace it with ix. Okay? Replace it with ix. Alright? Once you replace it with ix, this is the page that will come up. Alright? You have the personal, you have the business. Okay? So, what do you do at this time? You click sign up. So, once you click on sign up, you have options now either personal account or business account so because you are you are using a you need a business account uh of course you say this is a shop in your country and around the world from your computer or your mobile phone all without sharing your financial info to, with, with sellers then assess payment so the business account assess payment that means you can receive money and you can also send uh money out so you click you select business account okay so you select business account you click on continue Okay, so you click continue. Now, this is the page. The next page will pop up. There where you put your email address. All right, so you put your email address. So let me put uh, jubizon101. Jubizon101 at gmail.com. Please know that you don't use, don't use Yahoo Mail. Please don't use Yahoo Mail. You can use custom email uh, address email address or you use gmail address please don't use yahoo mail use either gmail or a custom email address so you click on continue now you enter your password and of course your password must be eight characters at least one number and a symbol all right so let me type in the password right now Okay, I have typed in the password, so I click on continue. All right, so it brings you to tell us about your business. Okay, your legal name, your legal first name that's the name that is on your document, your international passport, or your driving license, or your national ID card, any document you are using. All right, you put your legal name, the name that is on your document, on your official document. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, so what I'm putting actually here is the name that is on my official document, all right? So, you could put whatever that is your first name, your first legal name, and your last legal name. So, you come down here, here's your business details, your legal business name, which is, this business name must be identical to the name on the company's article of incorporation. Don't use a trade name, shorter than version. Then you could put your business name, okay? Trading name is... Is the same as business name, all right? So you do that. Your business detail, you can put your business name that's registered or anything, all right? So I put um, Jubilant Okay, that's my business and register. Then business phone number, you select your country you select nigeria okay you select nigeria or your country that's if you are in nigeria 
Okay, you select Nigeria. Select Nigeria, okay? Then where you are putting in your phone number, you don't put in, you don't add the first zero. Like if your number is 070, you don't put the first zero. You just start from 70, okay? 66755895. All right, you put your address. Your address must be the same way it appears on your bank statement. All right, the same way it appears on your bank statement. If you look at this postal code here, it's not correct. It's saying wrong, right? It's saying wrong. Postal code not correct. Now you go to Google. You go to Google. You go to Google. For you to know your city, in case it's telling you your postal code is wrong, you go to Google. Uh, you type in. Uh, I'm using ABA postal code. Okay? This is your address. I could pick any one. This is ABA postal code. So I could copy any of this. Then I will edit it here. Then I will paste here. Okay? That's for that. Then you click on the agreement. Okay, I agree. Then you continue. Oh, the postal code is still not giving me. Please enter a zip code. Okay, 234. Okay. All right, sorry. The postal code, that's Nigerian postal code. Sorry. The Nigerian postal code has gone through. Okay. That's the Nigerian postal code. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So this is the, uh, describe your business. This is where you tell about your business. Select individual. Okay. You select individual. Then product. That's about you. Product or service you render. Okay. Uh, product or service you render. You could put, uh, please enter a valid entry. You could put, um, uh, whatever. You select the whatever you are doing. You select whatever your business is into. All right. Okay. Okay. Direct marketing. Direct marketing. So you could select this. You put your business name if, um, uh, you have a, that's if you have a website, okay, you could put your business website there. I could put a Ubizon logistics.com. Then PayPal, please enter up to 11 alphabet. This name will show on your um, card statement. Okay. So what do you do next? You select your date of birth. You select your date of birth. Let's assume this is your date of birth. Oh, sorry, your date of birth. Um, twenty-one. Um. Yeah, nineteen ninety. Okay, nationality. You select Nigeria. You select Nigeria. As your nationality. All right. Identification type. Then you select if it's your national ID card. Okay. Your national ID card. Then you select your national ID or your passport or your driving license. Any of the ID you are using. If it's your passport, your passport, your national ID. So in this case, I'm going to select my national ID card. That is actually what I'm going to use. So I'm going to type in the national ID card number 8465. Okay. So I've done that. You same as business address. You mark same as business address. Okay. Same as you submit. Welcome to your PayPal business account. Okay. So I have actually created 
account like i've created an account now i've created um um what do you call it a paypal business account right now i've created a business account now so what do you do next right now you go to your email address you go to your email address my email address is not logged in on this computer so i'm going to uh, approve that from my phone okay so i'm going to approve the link from my phone okay so you could see you have welcome to your paper get paid um you can see it your account comes with this quick easy ways to request payment okay so you can all right so this is your know, you've done i'm done with that so the next thing i'm supposed to do now is to go to my email address go to my email address okay let me see um okay, sorry let me uh try as much as i can to log into an email address let me see if i can access my account here online just hold on you go to your a confirmation link will be sent to your email address okay so you go to your email address you you check on um you go to your ad account i want to add account okay so i want to log in to the email i use in creating this account okay so please bear with me bear with me bear with me bear with me please all right so i want to access the email oh ah I can't access this right now, but it's on my phone. So you go to your email, click on the confirmation link, confirm your email address. Of course, you know how to do that. Go to your email address, confirm your email address. You click on the confirm your email. Okay. You confirm your email address, right? So you confirm your email address. I've done that on my phone right now. I've confirmed the i've confirmed um uh, what do you call it i've confirmed my this thing you log out mm? of course you still remember your email right so let me log in again please let me log in again so we could be on the same page all right so i've confirmed the email so i've confirmed that from my phone from my mobile phone all right so what next am i supposed to do all right you go to your paypal my paypal all right so you go to my paypal account all right so I've done that. Like this is my account now. Mm? This is my account now. So I have confirmed the email from my phone, and that is actually uh, the confirm email address. I've done that on my phone already. Then I've done this already on my phone. I've done this already on my phone. So and then the next thing here is your you for you to link your card. So you link your card. Uh, your that's your Mastercard. Or your visa card so you click here you link your card okay link a credit card so you click here to link your card all right so you add your card number of course you know what your card number is the the 16 digit number of your card uh, the card number the card type then you select if it's mastercard visa card you select that then the security pin the security code is you look at the back of your card the three digit number on your mastercard you type it there you link card that is actually what you need to do okay to do that i have i don't need to do that right now okay i don't need to do that right now so um uh, so if you are looking for a way to create your business account paper business account this is actually how you do that so this account i just created now 
can receive money and at the same time can pay money. All right. So for those of you coming across my channel for the first time, please do well to subscribe, click on the subscription button and also don't forget to click on your notification button. That's the bell icon so you can always get notification each time I receive my video. All right. So thank you very much. See you next time.